Officer Joe Humphreys addresses a crowd of nearly 17,000. On hand to witness a scheduled 10-round bout between lightweight champion Tony Canzanari and former welterweight champion Jimmy McLarnon. This is not a title bout, yet it was to develop into a ring classic. Jimmy McLarnon from Vancouver, British Columbia, lost his welterweight crown a year earlier to Barney Ross. Going into this fight, he was 30 years old and weighed 146 pounds. Jimmy McLarnon. A good left hooker, McLarnon is known as a clever fighter, a strategist who combines ring savvy with hitting ability. Tony Canzanari became lightweight champion by knocking out Al Singer. Like McLarnon, he lost his title to Barney Ross, but won it back after Ross vacated the throne. Canzanari is 27 years old, and at 136 and a half, is nearly 10 pounds lighter than McLarnon. Tony Canzanari. It seems as though Canzanari always has been pitted against heavier men. He was a flyweight as an amateur, then turning professional, fought his way up as a bantam, featherweight and lightweight. He's a good combination puncher and hits well to the body. Concluding the introductions, Joe Humphreys announces the names of the two judges, Charlie Devlin and Charlie Lynch. The referee, Arthur Donovan. The fighters meet at the center of the ring for final instructions from the referee. And in a moment, round one of this over-the-weight 10-round bout. If you're planning to keep score, remember that in 1936, fights were scored by rounds with no supplementary point system. Jimmy McLarnon in dark trunks with a white stripe. Round one. They waste no time with preliminaries, you see. Both men get right down to business. Each has a low guard. McLarnon on the right keeps his chin down, tucked behind his shoulder. Both have been missing a lot, but they're off to a fast start, with Canzanari pressing the fight. Neither man landing effectively at close quarters. Their styles are quite similar, you see. As the fight progresses, You'll notice each man uses a fairly wide stance. Each is a clever hitter. Each can work well with his left. Canzanari possesses a better than average left hook, and a left hook also is a McLarnon specialty. Here comes Canzanari with a straight left to the face. McLarnon was moving away. McLarnon with a right-left combination forces Cantonelli to the rope and then misses his shot. Watch McLarnon's right. That was a long right that got home. Canzanari staggers back to the ropes and holds. He's been shaken up. McLarnon trying for the kill, misses the left. But keep your eye on that left. McLarnon about to miss a right, lands a hard left hook. Look at Canzanari. He's groggy. McLarnon senses it and seeks to press his advantage. Referee Donovan can scarcely pull to turn Jimmy McLarnon away from the hurt Tony Canzanari. Now watch McLarnon's right. Again, Canzanari is sent reeling back. He's wobbly. 
Tony comes back with his own right and catches the left at the end of round one. A big round for McLarnon. Tony Casanari with his back to us seems to have recovered as he answers the bell for round two. After a fast start, he was shaken up by Jimmy McLarnon in the first round. Tony's beginning to find the range with his own left, you notice. Now here comes Cantonari with a fast left-right combination to the head. We'll see him throwing combinations like that throughout the fight. Chases Cantonary to the ropes, but fails to land solidly. Cantonary about to connect with another left-right combination that sends McLarnon to his knees. And he's up without a count after a flash knockdown. McLarnon working mainly with his left now. In this round, Cantonary is taking the play away from McLarnon. Watch him lash back at Jimmy. An amazing comeback by Tony Canzanari in round... Going into round three, the fight is even. Jimmy McLarnon wearing the darker trunks with a white stripe. Pressing the fight now is Tony Canzanari. Both men prefer a classic straight-up stance, you notice. Both moving well, too. Here comes Tony with a left, right, and a left. Fast punching by Tanzanari. Look at Jimmy, feigning with head and shoulders. He's trying to lure Tony into throwing punches so that he, McLarnon, can wing in his own counter punches. McLarnon connects with a left before catching a stiff left to the face. More lefts by Tony. Round three was another chapter for Canzanari. Jimmy McLarnon in the upper corner is trailing as he answers the bell for round four. And now you get a really good look at his stance. Notice that he adopts a more squared away position than Tony Canzanari. Both carry their guard fairly low at times. Now watch. They go to close quarters, and when referee Donovan steps in to separate them, McLarnon hits on the brake. He draws a warning from the referee, and a chorus of boos from the fans in the garden. Now here comes Tony with a left-right combination. The left ball short, the right gets home. McLarnon jabbing with his left at the end of round four. Tony Canzanari, the man on the left, has taken the lead. Jimmy McLarnon seems to be off in his punching tonight. He's been missing a great deal and allowing Tony to beat him to the punch. Canzanari's reflexes are excellent. Tony, wearing the lighter trunks, seems able to anticipate many of Jimmy's maneuvers. McLarnon about to land a right-left combination to the face. Remember, Jimmy holds a nine-and-a-half-pound edge over Tony. Tony's jabs have started McLarnon's nose bleeding at the end of round five. 
the fourth round in a row awarded to Canzanera. Tony Canzanera, with his back to us, always starts fast, you notice. He rushes from his corner and usually lands the first blow. He tries a right, a glancing blow to the head. Tony's way ahead in the fight. McLarnon concentrating on his left again. McLaren firing long lefts to the face. Watch him duck away from Tony's right, then his left. In this savage exchange, a cut was opened on the bridge of Canzanari's nose. A long left to the face by Canzanari. McLarnon about to explode with both hands, only to catch a counter right by Canzanari. And round six goes down as another frame for Tony. But it was close. That's Tony Canzanari leaving his corner for round seven. He's way ahead in the fight. Five rounds to McLarnon's one. Tony's dart is completely down, inviting some lefts from Jimmy McLarnon. Jimmy carrying his guard higher now. Watch McLarnon's left. That was an overhand left, a punch you rarely see. Canzanari rushes in. McLarnon about to land a stiff left to the face. Then watch Tony counter. McLarnon's nose has been bleeding intermittently since the fifth round. But Canzanari's seconds has successfully treated the cut on the bridge of Tony's nose. Look at Canzanari, fainting with head and shoulders. A good left by McLarnon in the final seconds of round seven. Another round for Tony Canzanari. Round eight, and Tony Canzanari has built up a nice lead after weathering a tough first round. That's the only round awarded so far to Jimmy McLarnon. Now watch McLarnon faint Canzanari. And again, twice in a row. Each time, Jimmy failed to make Tony lead. But keep your eye on McLarnon. He's going to do well in this stanza. Here comes McLarnon with that overhand left again. Tony picks them off before landing a hard right cross to the head. McLarnon comes back with his own right. Then he returns to one of his favorite maneuvers, keeping his left in Canzanari's face. Jimmy miss a left hook, drive home a right, then absorb three uppercuts from Tony. After the bell, McLarnon charges and finds Canzanari game. McLarnon's round. Tony Canzanari, ahead in the fight, answers the bell for round nine of a scheduled ten-round bout. Round nine, the most dramatic so far. Watch Tony's left. This round, he seems to be licking Jimmy at his own game of left hooking. Look at him bouncing with energy. Now he'll rush in to land a left-right combination, followed by a cupping right to the ear. And again, he bounces with bubbling energy. Tony changes direction a good deal. That's to throw McLaren off target. He comes in fast with his punches, too. And if you keep your eye on Canzanari, you'll find him with his guard extremely low, as though disdainful of Jimmy's punching power. McLarnon wild with a right. to try a one-two, but the right misses.
Tony Canzanari with his back to it. Watch his right. That landed. It was a glancing blow to the head. A left hook by Canzanari. Now McLarnon comes back with his own left. Watch. Canzanari with a hard right. Shakes up McLarnon. Following through his advantage, Canzanari fires another hard right. McLarnon's hurt. Canzanari going for the kill. Watch him land another right, then a left. Jimmy's wobbly. Now Tony opens up with both hands. By now, the fans in Madison Square Garden were asking themselves, what's keeping McLarnon on his feet? Jimmy's still fighting back. He fires a right before Canzanari nails him with another left-right combination at the end of round nine. A big round for Tony Canzanari. Tony Canzanari will try for a knockout here in round 10, the final round of this over-the-weight match. That's Jimmy McLarnon on the right. The referee is Arthur Donovan. Watch Canzanari get in a left, miss a left, then just stand there waiting for McLarnon's next move. Tony about to land a right to the jaw. That was a glancing blow. Had it landed solidly, McLarnon would have been in real trouble. He's still not out of the woods. McLarnon trying for the body before Tony ties him up. Canzanari wants to drop his right-hand bomb again. The same right that nearly finished McLarnon in the ninth. Jimmy's punches seem to register with little effect upon Tony. Keep your eye on Tony's right. And again. Good shot, but they failed to put McLaren down. And it's all over. Ten action-packed rounds that left some 17,000 fans in Madison Square Garden applauding. Tony weathered a stormy first round to come back strong. He had McLarnon in serious trouble in round nine. Here's the official decision by ring announcer Joe Humphreys. Rounds one and eight were awarded to Jimmy McLarnon. All the others to Tony Canzanari. May 8, 1936, this was the big fight.